Friends, the family of God is on a journey. We're a pilgrim people. And that's been true for the diocese ever since it was founded in 1880. J.C. Ryle was a great proclaimer of the gospel. And over the various bishops between then and now, the gospel proclamation has remained the thing we want to do. Uh, but over the last perhaps 40 years, we've also understood that the gospel needs to be proclaimed in such a way that people can see justice. And so the purpose of the diocese is asking God for a bigger church to make a bigger difference. I believe that's something that we've been doing long before I came and that we will do into the future. The rule of life that we're called by God and sent by God, called to pray and read and learn and sent to tell, serve and give. Again, that's a, a, an expression of something that we've been doing for the whole of our life together as a family. When I first came, I said that the bishop's growth agenda, which Bishop James developed with colleagues at that time, that that bishop's growth agenda, I wasn't the bishop who had it, but I am the bishop who's got it now. What we're trying to do is to have a consistency of journey. And the COVID pandemic, which has turned the world upside down, it has not deflected us from that consistency of journey. And so my colleagues and I uh, in the diocesan administration, we're trying to uh, define and trying to express what that unchanging journey means in these days. And we're in negotiation with the National Church uh, and, and with one another so that we can have a clear direction of travel and that we can see what resources we need to come through the pandemic and into a new world, but a world that's still in need of Jesus and in need of justice. Uh, with that in mind, the ideas that I put forward in Fit for Mission back in 2014-15, uh, those ideas remain in force. We want to see uh, a, a church where the administrative load is reduced, but the evangelistic and the justice work is increased. And with that in mind, there are four priorities, which I don't believe uh, deflect us from the way that we've been traveling for the last few decades, but four priorities that I want to put to you today as the next chapter in our journey together. Uh, Eugene Peterson, uh, in, in his marvelous book, A Long Obedience in the Same Direction, that's the phrase he uses. It's a phrase I've used ever since I came here. We are consistent in our desire to follow God's call. But for this, next, uh, for this next chapter, we have these four priorities. 